What's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build the AWVR777, and this is a GEAC44CW, and it's from the movie Unstoppable, which is about like a runaway train, and uh, this is a fictional one, so it's not like an actual rail company. Uh, I think they leased a Canadian Pacific one, like a CP. But yeah, this is a really popular request, and I finally finished it today, and yeah, this is what it looks like, and let's get started. So I'm going to use a Scion a Terracotta, make a 2x3. In the front, uh, add one block to the top of the sides, and we want to make the middle part 33 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And you want to do the same thing in the back, just like the front. Alright, so once we do that, we're going to add um, another wall. So we're going to skip this block here. Should add a 2 by 5 right there, same thing on the other side. Alright, so once we're done with that, we're going to make this middle part three blocks wide. So you just fill it in. Then this side. Alright, so next we're going to add the wheels, so we're going to take hopper, hoppers and just add uh, two right here, skip one, two, skip one, two, so there's like uh, three pairs of these, and in between we want to have a stone brick slab, like so, same thing on the other side, so right now it's pretty much symmetrical, it's the same exact thing just on the other end all right and then we're gonna add a stone brick slab right in the middle of that all right then we're gonna take a scion terracotta again a skip one away from here at three like that go do the same thing over here and then we're gonna add a layer going across like a little wall and it should be the same thing on the other side, right? Okay, never mind. Maybe just the bottom part, yeah. So after we're done with that, uh, we can take a uh, stone brick stairs, just add it to the sides like that. For the bottom part, I think, yeah, that's, at least that's the same. So the bottom part's like that. And then for this side, we're gonna fill it in with the Scion terracotta. But the other side, it's uh, three and one, so three in the front, one in the back. Then we're going to take a stone brick stairs, just add two to either side. And for the middle part, we're going to take a stone brick slab, just add it right here. And let's take stone brick slab, just add it alongside the rest of the floor. Going across, and this side. Surprisingly, I didn't do like the front. Usually, I add the couplings first, but I guess not for this. So let's add the coupling: the stone brick slab right there, and then tripwire hooks on either side. And let's add a uh, stone brick stairs in the bottom corners. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So let's add the coupling, tripwire hooks, which I think they're air brakes, and then the um, stone brick stairs. And let's add the little stairs right here with the stone slab and the stairwell like that and then we're going to add uh, some fences so we're going to take acacia just add that right there and then um, birch fences around it kind of like a triangle shape like that that's for the front and for the back part same exact thing, I think. So just cache in the middle, stone. I mean, birch, like that. 
And then let's add another birch fence on the sides like that for the back part. And let's go back to the front. And we're gonna use a uh, red wool for the red part. So just add a wool right here. Then you wanna take a bedrock and add a vent directly above this hopper right here, like that. And for the other side, it's gonna be like two vents like that. So uh, you wanna have it either side, the other one like this. See how it kind of fills each other in. All right, so then we're gonna take uh, red wool just to fill this part in. I don't know how long it is on the other side. So okay, maybe like one block for the cab part. So yeah, let's just work on the cab right now. So we're gonna take for the front part, we need uh, black concrete, just two of them on the left side or rather one in the middle, one on the left. And then on the right side, we wanna have block of quartz for the, like the V and the AWVR. And then we're gonna take a uh, yellow concrete and just add three to the sides like so. And then we're gonna take um, red wool again, just add a little, a little tiny triangle on the front. Actually, we might be able to extend it to the cab part, so do it like that. And then add one right here. And let's add the black stained glass windows alongside it. Then add red wool on the top part. And we have to do this section. So we're gonna take a uh, red carpet, just add that in the front corners and acacia wood stairs for the rest. So kind of have like this slope in the front. It's a little bit different from my G evolutions. It's way shorter, but it's accurate. All right, so next we're gonna add um, some stuff on the side. So we're gonna take red wool, just extend this part. It's like a two block tall wall. And then there's gonna be a pillar here and skip to add another pillar like that in these middle parts we're going to take <clears throat> a black glass pane put that there and let's take uh, iron bars just add it right here on this pillar for the side mirror then we're going to take uh, acacia wood stairs just fill in the sides of it then this side and then we're gonna fill in the middle with red wool. All right, so let's make this 777 um, the number. So we're gonna go over here, get our red banner, and black dye, just add a bar on top like that. Then you wanna have it uh, go like in a diagonal, so we have like the seven part. And then we want to add a border around it. So just get rose red, just add it all around our seven. And that should be the seven logo. Or rather, it's not really a logo, it's like a marking. You can just stick that on the side of your locomotive. So you can tell it's a 777. And I believe there's another one, it's called 767. And it's just like, this part's black, that's pretty much the same locomotive, I think. All right, so next let's add iron pressure plate. Uh, just two of them on top, a little box. That's what it's supposed to be. And let's add uh, some lights. So we're gonna take uh, item frame and white stained glass. Just put the two lights at the bottom like that, then one at the top. So it kind of looks like a triad, like a pyramid and yeah, that should be the cab. So let's move on to the back part. So we're gonna take uh, uh, <laughs> yellow concrete, I look at chevron like that, then add a uh, two block tall bedrock like that. Then skip a block, another one, skip a block, another one. And this side, we're gonna make this uh, two blocks. So it's like a two by two. And then uh, let's go over to the other side. 
So this should be four blocks tall. I mean, four blocks long. Red wool, like that. And this side, uh, this is four blocks long as well, but then we're gonna add another block right here with the yellow and trying to make this kind of like a triangle, <laughs> but it's actually part of the stripe that, that goes down there. So uh, this is like a little box. So it just goes like this and the rest is red wool. And let's add a yellow stripe down here, going all the way across in between these vents. And it should be same thing on the other side. So just add in the middle, or rather, is it in the middle? Yeah, it is. All right, so once we're done with that, we can take a uh, red bull, just add it between these bedrocks and also on top of them. So I wonder if they're on that side yet. And also, I think the back section as well. It's red wool, but there is uh, black concrete right above the middle part. So like that. And this red wool, just add two more blocks on top of here. And let's add the backlight, which is item frame and white stained glass block. All right, so once we're done with that, uh, we can take <laughs> yellow concrete, just add um, three right here, one, two, three. For the other side, it's the same thing. That's good. And it just goes pretty much diagonal. We're gonna continue it, it's just like three blocks wide. And you can kind of see how that works out. So just extend that until we reach like uh, the bottom stripe like that. Yeah, I think that's good, three wide. All right, so next let's add the logo. So this says AWVR, which it's hard to tell if you just, if you had no knowledge of it, but it's mostly uh, black and white, so just add it like I guess skip these two blocks and add this shape to it like a two by three but this part is uh, kind of like um, I don't know how to describe it, like a diagonal and then we're gonna have like an upside down L quartz and then a right side up but backwards L like that so yeah that's that's like the worst description but that's what I did and you just do the same thing on the other side but like uh, reversed so we're gonna add that two by three bitten off corner and then an upside down L and then a right side up backwards L like that okay so once we're done with that we can take red wool and fill in the rest of it so just continue it And let's add a layer right on top of the red wool. Alright, so next we're going to take bedrock and add some vents. So there's going to be a two block wide vent right here, then red wool in the middle, and then another bedrock. At the end, the other side is bedrock and it's actually the same thing, so that's good. It's a relief. And here in the back, we're gonna add uh, acacia wood stairs. Just add one like that. And then for the bottom part, acacia wood stairs as well. So add that. And then wood slab on top of that one. And the middle part, it looks to be uh, red wool, but I don't know exactly how long it is, so let me just say it's uh, seven, so just add seven to this, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I was actually right. And then let's add acacia wood stairs, like here. And then acacia wood slab sticking out. For the bottom part, uh, acacia wood slabs as well. 
Shad 2 like that at the bottom. Alright, and then we're gonna add a uh, nether brick stairs to the bottom part, so it's like four blocks right there. It's like the vents. And we also want that on the top part, like in between this area. Just fill it in completely with the nether brick. And the sides is just a kitchen wood slab, so fill that in. I need to keep some orange or rather red. It's supposed to be red, but uh, orange is like the closest block. Okay, so next we're going to add a red wall in between here. So just fill in this area. And let's add red wall. Fill this in as well. Then we're going to add a 3x3 three three of acacia wood slabs right here. Then we're going to take uh, acacia fence gate, put one there. Then uh, skip a block, add scion terracotta, put that there, and fill in the rest with the wooden slabs. Acacia. Alright, next we're going to take red carpet, fill in this area in. We don't want this sticking out. Or the top part. Should be mostly red on top, so just moving things out right here. And <laughs> although this is a little exposed, but I guess it's fun. Alright, so next let's work on uh, the fences on the sides. And to do that, we're going to take. Um, what should I get? Like acacia wood fence, right? Just go down here, just add it. Starting from here, skip every other block. Good. And then the other side, uh, we're going to start it right here. And actually, I need to fill in this red wool. Looks like I forgot. Okay, and then acacia wood fence. And right here, yep. You just go skip a block as usual. we reach the other side and then we're gonna have uh, nether brick stairs right here where this goes up a bit and for the other side we're gonna add acacia on top of here as well and let's fill this part in with the red wall I forgot that as well okay so uh, we're gonna add uh, another door banner well actually it's our first one for this tutorial and to make it, it's a black banner, and we just have a red rose border around it. And then take that banner and add a 2x3 red rose at the bottom, and that's our door banner. So let's add the door banner right there, the back of the cab. Okay, next we're going to take... Um, where is it? Okay. I don't think I have it, so let me grab it. The another brick fence. Just add a little diagonal right here. And then we're going to take spider string, which I need to grab as well. And just add it between uh, these fences wherever it's like uh, not, not a fence, I guess, like the spaces. Because <laughs> we need to have something to hold up the carpet. And we don't want like an actual block there. I mean, spider string is pretty invisible, so you can't even tell from a distance unless you really look at it. All right, so next we're gonna add the actual railings, and that's gonna be made of these black carpets. So we're gonna go all the way around black carpet, fill in all these railings. And it's a bit of a shame you can't actually go on the sides of this. Uh, but <laughs> this is the best we can do. I mean, maybe if you modded it and have it like skinny, but you can't. All right, this part, I don't know. You can have one right here. This part, maybe you can leave alone. Fill in this area. I don't even know how that would really work. How I do it over there. I okay, kind of, kind of just use your imagination for that part. Maybe you can. Add a block here, I'm just saying. 
that's that's one way actually that might be a good way to do it so let me add that to this one got to improvise you know I've been working on this for quite a long time and every time I always see like something different to change and this is actually one of my older models that I, I took off the basis of so that's why we have like this uh, ladder thing so if you you want to add it we can take uh, oak fence gauge at three on top open them and it's like some sort of a ladder right there and uh, another detail I almost forgot to put yellow concrete right here in this nook it's for like the numbers that are written in yellow I don't know if there's an actual plate for that part in the back but yeah I think that's pretty much it on how to make the triple seven for the AWVR from the movie Unstoppable I hope you guys enjoy this video and this is highly requested so <laughs> I expect a lot of people to be building this um, there might be an animation on this I don't know but anyways guys if you guys like this video please uh, hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more tutorials in the future and I will see you guys in the next video bye